Eleanor Peterson, and from our research project, I took a deeper look into the question, how can Crohn's disease be healed through a specific carbohydrate diet, also known as the SCD diet, and why this impacts the medical field today? I chose this topic because I am one of many patients who have experienced going into remission after just a few months of being on this diet. This is incredible because when you Google Crohn's disease, what's going to come up is that it's incurable. Unfortunately, most doctors are using harmful medications and risky procedures to treat this disease when they don't even work. I believe the cure is something very simple, eating a diet based on fruits and vegetables. Hopefully by the end of this presentation, you will see why this diet has impacted not only myself, but others suffering with Crohn's disease. What is Crohn's disease, you might ask? I'm sure you've never heard of it. Crohn's disease is a chronic autoimmune disease causing painful swelling of the gastrointestinal tract. This autoimmune condition affects the digestive tract causing inflammation and tissue damage, resulting in swelling and dysfunction of this system. An autoimmune disease occurs when your immune system mistakes the good bacteria for bad bacteria and attacks the body. This leads to the inability to fight off infection, meaning that you'll have a very difficult recovery. Although Crohn's is said to be incurable, um, it's, I mean, I've seen otherwise, so keep listening. There were several factors needed to develop Crohn's disease. De Pablo states in an article titled Genetic Variants Associated with Crohn's Disease that while the exact etiology of this disease is largely unknown, it is thought to arise from the interaction between microbial, immunological, and environmental factors in a genetically susceptible host. The microbiome is a whole bunch of cells in your digestive system and they include um, viruses and um, bacteria and fungi. These micro cells actually help your body digest food and fight infections. If this system is not working properly, you're going to run into some serious problems. Unfortunately, the main contributor to developing this poor microbiome is, a, is your diet. So, um, pretty much uh, anyone in America is, um, has this factor already for developing Crohn's disease. This is why the diagnosis of Crohn's disease is on a steady hill upwards. Other factors involved in creating a perfect environment for Crohn's disease are immunological and environmental. Immunological refers to your immune system. You can, when you have a disrupted microbiome, your immune system is going to be weak. I was given antibiotics at two weeks old, which caused my microbiome to be disrupted, as well as um, developing a weak immune system. Environmental refers to drugs, diet, and stress. The mystery of Crohn's disease is that someone may have every single one of these components needed to develop the disease, but yet never develop it. That's what leads doctors to thinking that there's no cause or cure. Personally, I believe stress is the ultimate trigger. Long-term stress put my body into a shock-like state. This ultimately triggered Crohn's disease. Since starting the specific carbohydrate diet, I have experienced almost complete remission. As my body has been able to fight infections, this is a huge improvement because at my worst, I was not able to leave my house without getting a virus. Now I've not gotten sick for a whole year. Okay, so how do you know if you have Crohn's disease? This disease is, has a very slow onset and can be mistaken for common food intolerance or food allergy, and um, th but these symptoms will progressively get worse over time, and if not treated, can even lead to colon cancer. Symptoms include, but are not limited to, change in bowel habits, blood and mucus in stools, fatigue, nausea, abdominal pain, cramping, headaches, and inability to fight infections. People tend to overlook these symptoms since they cycle. They go through periods of time feeling great and then doing terrible in what's called a flare-up. I ignored these symptoms for over a year before realizing my body was not functioning normally and I needed to seek help. That's what led me to discovering this cure. Steroids and immune suppressors. These are what doctors use to treat this disease. There are two I'm going to talk about. Cor Cortexozoid? and astromedipine. These are common medications used to reduce symptoms and inflammation. The first one I mentioned is a steroid for reducing inflammation, although it can only be used short term, three to four months. It is not always effective in patients with Crohn's disease. 
don't know why they even use it. Unfortunately, despite the side effects and the fact that it doesn't even cure the disease, this is still the favorite choice of medication to treat this disease. The other one I mentioned is actually a form of chemotherapy used to treat cancer patients. And the side effects of that are similar to the side effects of someone getting chemotherapy. The side effects of the first one I mentioned are osteoporosis, diabetes, high blood pressure, weight gain. Would you want to treat a disease with other medications that cause other diseases? Especially when this is unnecessary. I know I didn't. All these treatments have one thing in common. They do not cure the disease. Dynamo was a, is a celebrity magician who opened up in an article about his struggle with Crohn's disease. He said that he went through several medications and even had a portion of his stomach removed before going to diet therapy for help. This was the only thing that helped him get to remission. The cure for Crohn's disease is in what's called the specific carbohydrate diet. This diet consisting of five main whole foods, fruits, vegetables, eggs, meat, and nuts. Dairy products such as homemade yogurt that have been cooked for over 24 hours or cheese that has been aged for a minimum of two years are also allowed. However, they should only be introduced after being on the diet for a few months. Why does this work, you say? It all comes down to the chemical makeup of these foods. Allowed foods are single cell carbohydrates called monosaccharides. Biochemist and author of the book Breaking the Vicious Cycle explains that any food and particularly carbohydrate given to a person with intestinal problems should therefore be a food that requires little to no digestion. You see, foods such as grains, sugars, starches, processed foods, dairy products, the list goes on. These are all disaccharides and polysaccharides. Your body during digestion needs to break down any food that you ingest into monosaccharides. So why not start? By eliminating these foods, you can put your body into remission by reducing the stress put on your digestive system. Essentially, only eating five foods is definitely a challenge. That's when I began to create my own recipes and share them with others via YouTube. Here is a few clips of one of the first videos I filmed. While talking about the positive results this diet had on suffering patients, Gottro said, When patients followed this specific carbohydrate diet for a minimum of one year, they were able to return to a normal diet with complete and permanent disappearance of symptoms. In an article written by Dr. David Seskind, a gastroenterologist at Seattle Children's Hospital, he shares that seven patients who had used the SCD diet not only resolved all their symptoms, but more importantly, resolved the inflammation on their laboratory tests. This diet is not only a cure for Crohn's disease, but also for other inflammation-based diseases, such as IBS, ulcerative colitis, cystic fibrosis, celiac disease, and even autism. Who knew that eating healthy could eliminate and prevent disease from one's body? You can now see why the discovery of diet therapy has made just such a huge impact on both doctors and patients. It can be overwhelming and a struggle to, to stay on a diet for so long. Eliminating sugar, starches, and processed foods can be a huge challenge since they are surrounding us every day. Another challenge commonly faced are social situations. Despite the obstacles, for someone with Crohn's, choosing this form of treatment is the only option worthwhile. This video from a young girl who is thriving on the specific carbohydrate diet describes the struggle she faces perfectly. I was always tired, but like I was so used to it that it wasn't such a different thing for me. I had stomach aches. I used to do running in like fourth grade, and then I kind of just stopped because I couldn't do it anymore. I was just so tired and weak all the time. I had just been falling off the growth chart pretty much. because. Uh, there's like those swirly line things and then I was here and I was normal and then I kept just staying in the same place. Well, 
I was supposed to be going. Connected it to the stomach aches I've been having and stuff and figured out that it was um, because of Crohn's. It's a bit easier to fast than <laughs> I forgot to, to stir. Can you want to stir a little? Do you want to put it in? Is that all that was left? There's another. When we started the ICD diet, it was overwhelming. Um, we we bought the books and we kind of. Um, well, first, we had to make a decision if this is something because when the doctor presented it to us, he kind of coupled the suggestion with a lot of people just can't manage. It's they find it way too um, daunting. Uh, they find that the kids uh, have a hard time being compliant, uh, that they cheat, and it only works when you do it 100%. So we knew this, and we we read the books, and we decided it, we wanted to try it. I didn't like it at all. It was bad. I was crying all the time. I didn't want to eat the food because it wasn't what I was used to. Every weekend I was going to a bar mitzvah party. There were cupcakes and donuts and candy bars and everything that, you know, is, is at a bar mitzvah party and, and all of them together and every weekend I'd have to deal with that and bring my own food and just sit there and eat in the corner. At first you don't focus on the things that you can eat or prepare, you focus on the things that are forbidden on the diet. And that seems about just about everything a child wants to eat. Everything we feed children in America sort of is, is forbidden on the diet. Because everything you buy in the supermarket, again, has sugar added. Sugar is not allowed on the diet. Every, you know, there are um, a ton of uh, additives, preservatives that um, are forbidden on the diet and make it impossible to just go out and shop like you normally do. And that's overwhelming and it leaves you uh, in a situation where basically you have to make everything from scratch. I feel better. Sometimes I find myself running around and I'm like, wow, that's, that's different. That's not what it was like before. <laughs> After about a month, the pain was gone. She started gaining weight and growing and that was a very satisfactory thing. It might get bumpy again because I'm like constantly sitting on the I think I would like just having something that all my friends would like and not question and look away or like some of my friends are like, no, you should save it for you. It's your special food. I'm like, why do you think I made a whole loaf of bread just to eat for myself? <laughs> and that kind of offends me. So I think it would be kind of cool if, if all of my friends and I were eating the same thing at the same time. With the increasing uh, prevalence of inflammatory bowel disease, everybody knows somebody with Crohn's disease or somebody with colitis, or, but most people have uh, either not heard that diet plays a role or very often we hear about the sort of traditional recommendation. I'd love to be like other kids who always have the option to eat stuff that like the average kid eats. <laughs> I mean, I think it would be pretty cool just to eat like a normal kid again. We feel very passionate about it now. Doctors say that there is no cure for Crohn's disease, but people who have used the SCD diet say otherwise. Within the past year, Seattle Children's Hospital began to recognize this life-saving diet to treat intestinal disease in children. Patients no longer must experience the side effects of medications and procedures. One perspective of the American dream is to live a happy and healthy life. This diet allows those from suffering from intestinal disease to control the disease rather than let the disease control them. People suffering from Crohn's disease can now be excited to eat food knowing that they won't get sick. Eating healthy doesn't hurt and by doing so you may be preventing serious illness. Thank you.